right, Dubby, so tell us about, again, to summarize this, goings on with the beach. So the reduction in sand is driven by what? Um, we had, um, we've had uh, two very uh, uh, strong uh, s um, seasonal storms the last two winters. Uh, you may, you probably read the newspaper, we had something like uh, 10 or 12 um, Atmospheric rivers. Atmos thank you. Atmospheric rivers had lots of very high, uh, very high storm surge, as well as um, uh, we typically have king tides in the, in the winter here too. And it's well established there's a net transport of sand offshore in the winter and onshore in the summer, directly related to the power of the waves. Because our waves and our tides are so high, it it overwhelmed the amount of sand here. On the beach. California, the net migration of sand from north to south is well established. Uh, damming, damming rivers and so on has interrupted that flow, so we're not getting as much sand down to replace the sand here. So, so is the concern that this is, so are you guys thinking this might be more of a permanent status in terms of the reduced sand here and that the, 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 the elephant seals are shifting south to southerly beaches? Um, we think they're going north. Northern. Right, because of the of the increased warmth, so that the pups can withstand being born in in January. Uh, you know, there's a there's a small um, rookery up in Vancouver Island, and there's another small one up in Whidbey Island, up up way north of what we think their historic range has been. So for these for these Central Coast guys, they're not going to go all the way up north. But are they, are they shifting over to like Piedras Blancas or like 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 in the last? Well, so you said the number of individuals on the beach here is greatly reduced. So where are those local? Guys well, going? The, the, we now have we we uh, just a couple of years ago we said we had about a six mile stretch of coastline. Now we have eight miles of coastline. So basically everywhere where we have sandy beaches, they're 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 taking advantage of them. And so, and so are you guys considering putting? Additional turnouts in the other sites, or, or some of the new growing sites, or not so much. Um, that's a question for state parks. Uh, we don't have much ability to affect their behavior. Yeah. Um, are there this, discussion? Is there, talk, is there talk about? I, that? Not that I've heard of. Okay. It, it is a big concern. This was the prime right. birthing and breeding beach this year. Uh, excuse me. For I've been here for uh, almost ten years, uh, and the last couple of years, the south beach has become much more popular. We have a boardwalk down here and I think because it doesn't matter so much to the to the fall haul out to the juveniles because they can swim right. they, they, they sort of have come back continue to come back here but that's another interesting question of how do they get here in the first place because yeah, they, they find it, how do they find it? Yeah. and nobody knows and 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 then how do we have somewhere between one and two percent of uh, animals every year go to uh, a different rookery. Uh, we know we have had a, a fair bit of transfer from the uh, uh, Anya Nuevo down here and also to some of the offshore islands because we do tag, they try to tag about 10% of the, the year's pups and then we can track them. We have, use different color tags and they've got numbers on them and that's a, there's a major effort to try to keep track. We still don't know how they know where to come, right. you know. Um, I live down in Cambria, and it seems like every couple of years we'll see one male showing up. showing up, and he's actually offshore in the sand, in the water, doing his call, trying basically. Is anybody here? Uh, we don't have sandy beaches, so he has. They don't typically stay there very long. Oh, here's a, here's a, here's a, a male, that's about probably five, maybe going yeah. on six. Yeah. So that's. Uh, and we, we can sometimes get seven-year-old males that show up here that are huge and cause mass disruption because they're always trying to see if the females are receptive. <laughs> yep, so. Then, oh yeah, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, so, sorry. The other one is, so with the closure of PCH in the last two years, basically, how have your visitors to this interpretive site gone down? Is it is it a third? Is it 10%? How is it um, I don't have a good handle on that, but in the last, um, five years it's been closed more than it's been open right we had uh, major landslides twice that's caused two right. years two years closure in both right. times um, 
So, uh, do, you, do you see a qualitative difference? You see more like Americans as opposed to foreign it's tourists. A, it's actually the other way around, I think. Wow. Just because you know you're going to come over here from Europe, you're committed to seeing something, so that so that they show up here. Okay. But it's that's one of the fun things here is, is meeting people from all over the world. Totally. Uh, but yes, it is a big issue. The, the I've heard somewhere numbers around 30 to 50 percent reduction in uh, visitation. Uh, visitation or uh, economic activity. Um, it is it is a concern. All right. Well, good. That's a 2024 update. Cool. I love it. I love it. I love it.